Hey, fish heads, Jen Crevassi, Jekyll Bates, and this is your holiday weekend updater. It is Friday, August 30th. Things are bustling. Lots of stuff going on in the shop. And it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon when I'm filming this. I had to shut the back door because they're grinding. We do not take a break ever, ever, ever here at Bullshad. So, um, except for yesterday, I went and saw my mom, which was really cool. I hadn't seen her in a while. Mom's doing well. I'll tell her you guys are asking about her. So I've got a few things for show and tell today. Um, we're going to start off because I need to make sure that the tail is hanging off of the uh, of the counter here, the, the bench, the finishing desk. Um, this is a beautiful seven inch trick shad that is going to our local influencer, Gene Jensen, also known as the Fluke Master. So he is now working a lot more closely with us here at Bullshad Swim Baits and GSM Outdoors and Jekyll Bates. So we wanted to make something really cool and special for him. So we've got really nice color shift in a shad. Really pretty. I like the, uh, the tail that Mike has been doing lately on some of these, a little bit of shimmer to match the little bit of green that's in the back. So color coordinated, I asked Gene what color tail he wanted and that is what he picked. So super stoked to have him throw on our baits. He always has, he's always thrown our baits. But big shout out to him. He is uh, down in Louisiana right now. So good luck to him on the water. And this is his. I have been going chrome crazy. And before we get too much into the weeds with chrome, I have a question and I need you guys' help. So, uh, you know, I work at Bullshed Swim Baits. You've probably seen numerous videos with the entire warehouse in the shop, uh, minus a couple places that are proprietary and that we don't film. That being said, there is the rare occasion that things go missing and then turn up. But this is a turn up with a, I don't know who this belongs to. So here's the clue. The clue is I chromed this bait for whoever this belongs to because I really honestly don't know. Um, but this was one of several baits and the original color was a fire tiger, just a regular old fire tiger. These are musky baits for the most part, but they came in this box. And the cool thing about this is that I love it. The bad thing is it was lost in the bullshed warehouse for approximately maybe a year. Um, I'm hoping not quite that long, but I don't know who this belongs to. It's in a box that is from one of my customers, Ozzy. Um, and it says Bullshad Swim Baits. It has me, JB Co. Bullshad. Uh, obviously, I guess I didn't see the, the JB Co. But I don't think that this is from him either. Maybe I'm wrong. But actually, this is what the bait looked like originally, which is super cool. It's fun. Um, but I have this bait box full of musky stuff that I'm sure was for a repaint. And I have absolutely no idea who it belongs to. So please help me find the owner. And then I need to expeditedly make sure this box gets painted so transparency yes i'm human no idea super sorry to whoever this belongs to and please get with me and don't just say hey this is my box i need you guys to say hey this is mine and here's the invoice and this is the date and blah 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 and we can go back because i know i make notes and all of my stuff on paypal and venmo and cash app so please help me if this belongs to you Give me some references and I'll be able to verify who it belongs to. So, and again, no idea. Um, but I don't think that it would be for anybody else but me. And it looks like it's been in the shop for a little while, but it needs to get painted if it belongs to you. So I'm kind of freaking out about that. On to the regular baits. I've got some stuff that I'm going to be putting on the website. And I've got some stuff that is going to be going to customers. So on the customer side, let's go with this little TGB. 
This is one of three pieces. You guys saw a bit of the painting on this and some probably some social media shots of me completing some of the painting. And this is for Vince Caravello. And he also got a little five inch deal with that. And that's gonna be in a summer gill. And the hyper. So wanted some blue trim around the eyes, some gold down the back. And this is, I don't know if the camera can do it justice, but if you guys can see that green, pink, and blue color shift on there, work that out for him as well. So those three pieces go into vents. And then here is the foiled version of this fire tiger musky bait. That's how the bait started out. And this is how it turned out to Northland. So have a great weekend, Tristan. That's okay. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get out of here. It's the, uh, the end of the week on Friday. Everybody's trying to get on the water and go fishing and have a great weekend. So this is the original appearance of the now chromed really pretty peacock. But again, I'm, I'm super freaky about this box because it just showed up and somebody's like, oh my gosh, it was back in the shop. And they're like, what is this? And I have no idea how it got out into the shop. Usually the mail is pretty good. And I will say this, on most of the stuff that I get, I ask that it goes to my private residence and I usually give my clients my private residence just so it doesn't get confused. But this one, this one did have the bullshad address here on Ackworth Industrial Drive. So I'm sure that's the mix up and I'm really, really sorry for whoever that box belongs to. Like I'm probably not going to stop talking about it for the entire, the entire video. I have been on a chrome kick and one of my good fishing buddies and friends and fellow swim baiters, Quint Foster. Um, came up with some really interesting challenges for me to do. And this is a pair of chromed. And again, chrome is not easy to do in the first place. In the second place, um, on scaled baits, it's a little tough. You can definitely see the chrome in the face and the gill plates. But it doesn't quite show up as chrome, which most people are super cool with. But he wanted some candy colors and some really neat gills. And this is, and he wanted them super bloody. So we were able to hopefully meet all of the check boxes on that. And we've got some fun topwater stuff. He's gonna be taking these down to South Georgia and Florida and fishing them. They will definitely get bit. So just a fun project. It's something that I hadn't done a whole lot of before was chroming in a bluegill pattern, number one, and on gills that are super scaled. But um, I think these guys came out, like you can really see the chrome there. Like you can probably see the camera that's recording this video. So love it, love it, love it. So I'm really excited and I love doing challenges. So I will definitely continue to keep doing these. But that was just a ton of fun. And then because he had asked for some patterns and um, we did those on those baits, I happened to have one of these sitting around in the shop. So I did a six inch bull shed. And this is gonna be like a late winter, like a, it's a blind and super pre-spawn type bait, but it will get bit. It, this would probably do really well in Florida right now but it would be a really good late winter to pre-spawn bait anywhere in the country. But again, a foiled, I'm sorry, not foiled, a chromed, and you can see it in the reflection on that chrome there. So a chromed, almost a full clown without the, the clear or chrome body but the whole body's chromed and then I've got candy paints over top of it. Candies are a little bit tricky to work with um, you usually need like bleed checkers and stuff like that in the paints. So as I become more professed in how to spray them properly, and obviously the, the seal has to be good, then I will translate in videos for you guys. 
And then we've got a really cool, uh, like a muted dark. This is a V-joint, nine inch. Older, because I wanted the eyes to be a little bit hazy. But a chrome, a dark chrome. There's two kinds of chrome you can do. One is a dark, one is a super shiny silver. And for this, I really wanted a little bit of a darker, that almost like that black chrome. But just a, another fun pattern to do. Shiners have been going around lately, huh? So last but not least, I've got three OG rats. A lot of people ask, there's a couple of holes that you'll see on occasion on baits. Um, obviously this is gonna hold the tail. Um, it's gonna be pinned through. But this hole on all of our rats, it's a vent hole for the, mo for the mold. So that releases gases and such to where it can properly cure inside the mold. So these look wooden, and Mike was noticing how wooden they look, and that was their intent, but these are just the standard wood appearance in a six inch smoothie OG rat. These are gonna hit the website this weekend for Memorial, or <laughs> going rewinding back to May, um, for Labor Day weekend. So that and a couple other pieces are gonna be on the, uh, on the website. Almost forgot. Got this little eco that I painted up as well. So this is going out to a customer that dropped it off to me June the 10th, I think. So that's right around where the turnaround time is, except for the stuff that I really, really, really have to do a lot of like prep work and stuff like that on. Um, but these are cool little baits. I've seen them swim, they swim pretty good. They have the pen like we've been doing for years, which is kind of cool, the pen that sticks up. You can, I think they might have a tuning chamber in theirs. I'm not sure. Nope, doesn't look like they do. Nope, not on these. We have a tuning chamber on ours, but they do have our pen, so. Very, very cool. That's all the news that's fit to print, and I hope you guys have a fantastic Labor Day weekend. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.